What's up? How are you guys this week? Another day of me complaining down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. But before I get started on that, I'm going to get drunk on some water kefir so I at least feel good while I'm complaining. And uh, I did throw on my Wi-Fi shielding hat this morning because my hair is so messed up. So it, it's kind of like an alternative to uh, the, the head net that doesn't make you look like a beekeeper in public. And then if you also wear like the, the regular mask, then it's, it's pretty protective where you can wear a bandana on your face too. Uh, it just helps reduce a little bit of the, the Wi-Fi exposure around the brain. But since I've been taking magnesium, I've been feeling a little better with that. But um, let's drink a little bit before I complain. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed. The water keeper was not fermented enough to be alcoholic. It's just a regular probiotic drink. And uh, you guys that watched the vlog last week know that we came out with the ginger lime water keeper. I did want to apologize uh, for the people that ordered that. I, I reduced the price a little bit because I didn't tell my guys to strain out the pulp in the lemon, lime, and ginger when they juiced it. So uh, this time around, the pulp's all gone. It's really, really delicious. That first batch, you know, if you just like pour it through a strainer into a cup, uh, and it's also a little too acidic, but uh, this second batch, we reduced the amount of lemon, lime, and ginger. It's really, 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 really delicious. I just had a whole bottle of it. Amazing, amazing stuff. So looking forward uh, to having that for you guys. We got the recipe kind of ironed out. And I'll probably increase the price just a little bit to cover the cost of all the organic produce. But uh, what's going on today is I finally had this dehydrator connected, allegedly fixed, but it still doesn't work. There's still something wrong with it. And, and I'm honestly so frustrated with this piece of shit machine. I think I'm just going to sue that first electrician for like $30,000. Uh, I think I said this before. I'm out the price of the machine, which I've already invested about $13,000 into. And each week that I haven't been able to sell jerky, at least $500 to $1,000 profit. So it's frustrating and disappointing. And, you know, you know what lesson can be learned here is, <laughs> like, do, I guess don't buy from China. And if you can't afford the American version, just find a guy on a Craigslist or something to build some. I, I'm sure I could have, if I looked, I could have found someone that was able to build a machine like this for a similar price uh, as the Chinese machine. And it would have worked 100%. But... I, I can't worry about it because it's kind of out of my control. I have no idea what's going on with this. And um, I'm having a technician come tomorrow morning to take one look at it. If this guy doesn't fix it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've had enough. I could have literally like bought a bunch of wood and built a smokehouse in my parents' backyard. But <laughs> with the amount of frustration and bullshit I've dealt with with this machine. And also, uh, the electric bill seems to be what it's supposed to be about $1,200, which is not good. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to afford that every month. And because of that, I'm withholding the rent. And I think my landlord might be about to like evict me or kick me out because um, they never fix the heat. And by law in New York City, the landlord has to keep the building above like 63 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. And since the motors in both um, HVAC units aren't working, the heat in the building isn't working. I filed the complaint to 311 like two weeks ago and my landlord still hasn't gotten back to me or done anything about it. So, I mean, I don't know. Like it, it's technically illegal for him to not have the heat on, but the, you know, the reason I'm withholding rent is, is because of, well, the state of the building and because of the electric bill. It's just, it's just completely insane. So d definitely nothing positive with that situation. And another thing I've said several times before is I was really banking on getting the loan for that slaughterhouse because this facility, I just, I, I'm just not making money down here. If I didn't have all of these other businesses, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, I'd basically be out of business and I'd have to just kill myself down here working all day. And, and am I gonna, you know, I can't fire one or two of my employees and just do everything myself. I'm gonna die down here, it's, it's insane. But what else did I miss? Oh, let me show you guys what's happening with the dehydrator now. So it's running but the heat's flashing on and off, which I guess makes sense because it's set to a very low temperature and it's just trying to maintain the low temperature. But the, the fan is always supposed to stay running. For some reason, the whole machine turns off before 10 minutes passes, and then when I try to turn it back on, it's not gonna turn on. So we'll wait. All right, it just actually just happened now. So I try to turn it on. It's not turning on. My only guess, because I messed with, 
the settings on this control panel and nothing, nothing was fixed. Um, even with the heat off, fan doesn't turn on. So why wouldn't the fan turn on? Why would there be, it, clearly the heat sensor must be working to some degree because the heat is turning on and off. It's trying to get to 54 Celsius. However, what could make the fan turn off? Does the over temperature alarm turn the fan off? Is it actually overheating in there? Is this not hooked up properly? I have no clue. So hopefully this technician tomorrow can come figure this out because I've had enough. And you know, even though we got a new control panel, that doesn't guarantee that the electrician that just connected it did it as it was from the factory. And since I never tested the original factory dehydrator, I can only assume it would have worked. And I'm also in contact with the Chinese guys again. We do have some good news though. The fresh meat will be back in stock, hopefully by Friday of this week. Uh, last Wednesday, I drove upstate about two hours uh, to buy a cow from a farmer. We drove the steer over to the slaughterhouse. They, they killed it, they hung it up, and uh, this week we're gonna cut it. So by Friday, hopefully, it'll be available on frankiesrangemeat.com. We'll have the fresh, never frozen uh, beef package back. Animals never gotten any shots. Uh, the meat was only sprayed with just hot well water, um, basically as, as clean as it gets. So if you guys have been waiting for the fresh meat to come back, we will have it hopefully for the next two weeks and, and moving forward, we'll have it on a monthly basis. I got to drive up there Thursday to, to watch them cut it and then pick it up. So my, my back and my head's been killing me because I had to sit in my car for like two, three, four hours every single day this past week. But hopefully um, this, this week it's not the same and I can get a little bit of rest. But that is going to be back in stock. So I'm a bit excited for that. And the marrow bones and stuff are still held in custom. So I don't know what's up with that. We do have quite a bit of non-perishable orders from Frankie's Range Foods. You guys ordering the, the best bars, the water key for all that stuff. There are some orders there. And we also have about half a pallet of orders in here. So everything's going out today, guys. Hopefully it gets to you within two or three days. Uh, this is just from the weekend. So we got a lot of orders for the ginger water kefir. Uh, I'm looking through this freezer. I don't think there's anything uh, for me to show you guys. We don't have anything new in stock, but hopefully this week we can get some bone-in ribeye and bone-in porterhouse steaks in stock. We're low on chicken, but I'm going to get whole chickens back in stock this week, and we're going to have uh, some extra wings on the side because you guys have been buying a lot of the wings. We got a little bit of the Top Seeker Burger Blend left, which I might give away for one week just for you guys to try it. I mean, that's really it. I'm, I'm just trying to stock up on everything and get stuff that's been out of stock. So. If there's anything you guys haven't missing out on, let me know and I'll give you an update on whether we're going to get it back or not or what the deal is. That means that next week's vlog is probably going to have a couple of uh, new items on restocking stuff if you guys want to check that out next week. Um, we do have the New York strip steak promotion. We're giving away two 12 ounce New York strip steaks with every order until I'm out of those strip steaks. So actually, let me see how much of those I have left to let you guys know if if that's gonna be through this week or if it's gonna probably end by the time this video is posted. I mean, we're blowing through those strip steaks, so I don't think it's gonna last uh, till next week. So through, through the end of this weekend, we're gonna have those two strip steaks free with the order. And then next week, I think I'm gonna do, uh, we'll give away one pemmican bar with each order for you guys to try it. I don't think I have anything else to talk about to you guys today. Um, no, nothing is new downstairs. We still have everything in stock on organ supplements. And uh, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, everything is operational as usual. Uh, still waiting on the, uh, the silver fabric uh, to be delivered to do the, uh, the long sleeve stuff on Wi-Fi shielding. And I'm also in touch with uh, another company that does different types of Wi-Fi shielding stuff like smart uh, meter guards, uh, some wall filters, just stuff that most people might not buy, but they're saying the shipping is too high, so we might not get it. But you know, I'm trying guys, I'm trying to kind of expand each business, uh, well not slowly, as, as quickly as I possibly can with what I have available, but you know, stuff like this dehydrator makes me just want to give this shit up completely and move to the Ukraine and uh, pay some girls to fuck me up. So, uh, I don't have a great attitude today, so l l let's just wrap this up because I'm, I'm going to lose it. So, thank you guys for joining me. FrankieSyringeMeat.com, you can see all of the businesses I have on frank stefanocom check it out. Uh, if you guys want to support me, hopefully, oh, I forgot to mention, 
Uh, so Wednesday we drove up to, to do the cow. On Saturday I drove two hours north. Um, I have a friend who has a property about 50 acres and I don't think I could do anything on there besides chickens but you know I've been saying I want to do chickens, I want to do dairy, I want to do all this stuff, I want to have my own slaughter operation. I think if I could just get the chickens started as soon as possible that'll kind of give you guys some confidence and I guess we'll see. But it's tough, you know, do I want to invest in just a chicken egg operation? I'm going to have to ship the eggs separately, but, but we, might, we might just do it. We might get the eggs as soon as possible because um, since that person is willing to have the chickens on their property, all I would have to do is buy the chickens, buy the housing, and employ someone to, to do all that stuff, feed the chickens, and uh, gather the eggs. It might not be worth it. It might be worth it. I'm not really sure, but it's, it's definitely on the table. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos Therefore as I said frank check out all of my businesses where you guys can support me further And I'll see you guys for tomorrow